Let's look at some double bond geometry and notice that double bonds cannot rotate around the double bond. So first, let's look at something that doesn't have a double bond, like ethane. And ethane just has a single bond here, and we're able to spin these hydrogens around that single bond. And I, uh, I have a molecular model here that's not exactly ethane, but I've used two different colors of model kit here, just so that we can see that I'm spinning this a little bit easier, so that it's a different color than just the white. So you can notice that the model kit is able to spin around, just like in a normal molecule where there's a single bond right here in the middle. Now, if we look at a molecule that is not able to rotate, like an ethene, which has a double bond, so a single bond in the middle plus a pi bond right here, that's unable to rotate around the pi bond. We cannot spin these hydrogens while keeping those in place. And the reason for that is this double bond would break if we tried to rotate it. And I've tried to illustrate that down here. So we've rotated this hydrogen around and when we do, the side-to-side -side overlap that used to exist up here is now being broken. I can draw this in another way just to further emphasize what's happening. So normally we would draw the double bonds with some shading. So one, one side would be shaded a different color than the other to indicate there's a difference in polarity. Here, I've shaded them both the same so that it's easier to see that this is a double bond and that part's uh, part of the single bond, the hybrid orbitals. So let's draw this a little bit more traditionally with the shading in for the p orbitals. And I'll just draw lines for the uh, single bonds so that it's easier to see. So normally we'd have the, a, a bond picture that would look like this, where we're able to combine this side and that side together. And that's making the bond. And that picture looks very similar to this one. Now let's try to see what happens when we rotate this. And let's rotate it all the way around. And in kind of an extreme way of doing things. So we'll spin it completely around. Here we've only rotated it some, but let's see what happens if we were rotating at 180 degrees. In this case, we'd have shading on opposite sides. And these two orbitals would repel each other because they're opposite polarities. And this is actually a picture of the pi antibonding orbital. So we have actually completely broken the bond and if it's occupied, this will be actively trying to force the molecule apart. So double bonds do not rotate. Now as a consequence of this, we have isomers, molecules that have the same chemical formula, but a different configuration and some different properties. So in this case, I've put a couple of bromines on our ethene so that we can see some difference here. And 
these are two different molecules because the double bond is not able to rotate. In this case, they're on the same side or in the cis configuration. And in this case right here, we have the trans configuration or on opposite sides of where it started. And we are unable to rotate this bond to get it into the other configuration. So these are two chemically distinct molecules. And we can, we can also just kind of draw these out. And this one is the cis configuration of 1,2-dibromoethene. And then we could also have the trans configuration. these are different from each other. Other times where you may have encountered this type of nomenclature is in fats. So you've probably heard of trans fats. And in that case, the bonds, there's some double bonds in the fatty chain and some of those would be in the trans configuration. And those molecules tend to pack together a little tighter just because the, the chain is able to be a little straighter. And if you have the cis configuration on um, some of those fats, then there's a little bend or a kink in the chain and so they pack looser and that has an effect on the health. So you've probably heard of high density cholesterol and low density cholesterol and the low is healthier than the high. Well, that density comes from the ability of the lipids to pack together. Higher density, it is a result of, from the trans being able to pack tighter and lower density is from the cyst, not being able to pack as tightly. So that's another time when you may have heard of cis and trans configurations. Although we tend to focus on the trans fats because those are the ones that are less healthy. Now, both of those configurations happen simply because the double bond is not able to rotate while maintaining the entire bonding character. If we were to rotate them, it would be breaking the bond. Now, there are times when that is possible to do, especially if you supply some UV light and, or light of an appropriate energy, usually it's UV range, then you can break the pi bond and in that case, you may be able to scramble the configuration. So if you started off with all of the molecules being in the cis configuration, if you were to shine an appropriate light on there, you could break just the double bond by exciting this bond into the antibond, and then that could cause the molecule to be able to rotate because the double bond part would be broken. And then hopefully you could reestablish the double bond and it could have scrambled into the two different configurations. We usually don't do that, but 
there are times when it is possible. So thank you for joining me for this video and we'll see you in the next one.